Hey there, I'm John Ludwig, Gaming Product Manager here at Omen. And today we want to talk to you a little bit about overclocking on the Omen X. So right here we have the Omen X desktop. We've done a couple great things with this. We really focused around thermals, customizability of your parts, and just a great overall building experience inside. It has room for all of your powers. This one right here has an i5K processor and an R9 Fury X for the GPU. We also have lots of room in there to change out parts, any parts you want to put in, customizability. We also really focused on thermals, so we have liquid cooling on that i5K and our overclockable processors to make sure you have room for overclocking. Uh, we want to take you a little bit through overclocking today and how you would do that on the system and what kind of benefits you can expect to see. Um, so if you want to go ahead and overclock your own X, we'd recommend you go download Intel XTU. Uh, once there, open up the application and you'll actually have the option there to change your multipliers, your voltages across a variety of settings. But once you've done that, um, you should see increased performance for things like video editing and even sometimes in games. And so actually we're going to run the Bioshock Infinite benchmark here and take a look at what the overclocked versus non-overclocked benchmarks we see and what a customer should see once you've overclocked it, the benefits you'll get. Okay, so now we're in the Bioshock Infinite benchmark here and you're seeing up in the upper left corner your frames per second. Now we've run this benchmark a few times uh, with the non-overclocked i5K and the overclocked. And we noticed some interesting differences that should be really exciting to you as the customer. When you actually just look at the average FPS across the whole thing, you're going to see that with the overclocked versus non-overclocked, it looks like you're getting great frame rates the entire time. However, if you look at the minimum frame rates in different scenes, you actually see in the first scene it dipped down to 27 frames per second with the non-overclocked CPU during the first scene. Once you do the overclock though on the i5K, you'll find that it got 35 frames per second as a minimum with an overclock CPU. So you've gone from 27 frames per second, which is a little borderline in terms of playability, all the way up to a playable 35 frames per second. And so it's important to look at not just the averages across it, but also look at those minimums to make sure you're getting that great gaming experience, which doing that slight overclock has allowed you to do. While most of the time it's the GPU limiting you in this game, and that's going to be the case for most games, you will actually see the CPU overclock has helped you with some of those minimum frame rates. And so that's sort of the quick and dirty of overclocking on the Omen X and some of the benefits it can get you in game.